Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to try and recreate this pen ink watercolor sketch digitally using some of the drawing apps that I have on the iPad Pro. Now, I am a big fan of painting with watercolor. There are so many things I like about watercolor. The thing that I really like is the texture of the paint on paper and how the watercolor blends sometimes unpredictably and of course the vibrancy of the colors and I enjoy color mixing but most of all I really like the tactile experience of having real paint on real paper so making this sketch uh, it's really fun So the apps that I will be using today are Procreate, Concepts, Tayasui Sketches Pro and Adobe Fresco. Let's start with Procreate first. So let me pick some water brushes. I'm going to pick water, wet sponge and see how it looks. Now I don't usually paint uh, with watercolor brushes inside apps like this. Now the first thing I notice with this particular brush is it acts more like an airbrush rather than a watercolor brush. Not sure if you can see the texture that I have just added. It's basically a pastel brush that I applied over the canvas and changed the layer to multiply. Some of the water effect brushes in Procreate, they behave like airbrushes so they still have that very digital look. Let's see if I can blend this color into the red. I'm going to use this brush called Water Bleed and I'm going to paint like this. Wow, it's not bad. So there is this brush called Watercolor Brush inside the painting folder. So when you paint with it, it I'm not sure if this actually looks like watercolor. Anyway, the brush stroke, it's very difficult to control. All right, let me paint with the black. So I'm going to use this squash brush to paint this. It actually looks good. One thing I noticed is in order to get the really dark strokes, I have to press down really hard and this will definitely wear down the Apple Pencil tip as well as the matte screen protector that I have on the tablet. And now let's try some splatter brushes. They look like the real thing. Let's see if these digital brushes can blend the colors together. Okay, so from what I can see, uh, it's not blending. Maybe because the opacity is not right. But this is definitely not green. Let me add some more yellow again. Yep, so you see there is no blending at all. When I add yellow, it basically covers the blue. If you are really using watercolor, the two colors will blend together. All right, here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Procreate sketch. So this looks a bit darker because I had this pastel brush overlay to create the texture. I can change the overlay to something more appropriate. Let me try linear burn. Is this brighter? This is slightly brighter, but real paper and real paint, it's uh, way brighter and the colors are more saturated. All right, so for this Procreate sketch, it does look uh, kind of digital. The main challenges here would be uh, creating the color blends, having the colors mix into one another. That's the real challenge here because if you see these feathers here, um, these are just blotches of color, but here you can actually see some color blends. So here the watercolor, so here the water is doing a lot of work. It creates these beautiful gradations. It creates the soft transition, the color blends. Um, all this is very easy with a real brush and watercolor. These are almost like airbrush effects. So I need to erase, do a erase with a sharp 
eraser to get those hard edges. Oh, there's actually a brush in Procreate that can create the watercolor background effect. It's called Fresco. So let me uh, show you what it does. It creates these very beautiful splotches. The next app is Concepts. So this is the watercolor brush in Concepts. This, by the way, is a vector software. It's quite cool that they can actually recreate this um, texture effect with vector. Uh, one thing I like about this particular brush is you can see there is this color transition. So if I paint really light, there's this transition from light to the more saturated color. And here, let's try and draw those strokes again. Okay, this looks like a round brush. So the blend, the effect I'm looking for, the sharp tapered edges, it's a bit difficult with this watercolor brush. Concepts has another watercolor brush called watercolor H1 and it looks like this brush has some nice texture within the color. This is transparent so I need to overlay it several times in order to get the intensity that I want. This brush however doesn't blend like the default watercolor brush that's available in concepts. So when I paint over like this, you can see it covers basically whatever that's beneath. So the watercolor brush in Concepts, uh, it does look kind of digital, but I like the splatter. So with Concepts, it's difficult for me to recreate the color blends. It's difficult for me to get the sharp edges and to paint the tapered strokes. It's also a bit difficult for me to get the colors to look more natural, more textured like watercolor. So here, the colors, they do look very unnatural, very digital. And this app is Sketches. I think it used to be known as Tayasui Sketches Pro. Maybe they have rebranded. Anyway, um, let me add some splatter marks. There are no splatter brushes, so the only way you can add splatter marks is to use the ink pen and tap on the display and sometimes the splatter it won't appear so you have to try a few times so i have the water brush selected let's paint so how vibrant the colors are will depend on how hard you are pressing down so if you press hard you're going to get really vibrant colors seems like i am able to get into those tight areas, those tiny areas very easily because it also reacts with pressure to get the thicker lines and the thinner lines. Let me put this layer below the line art. Okay, so this actually looks good because I can see some gradations here. So this is light to concentrated color. Let's see how the colors blend to this orange. Okay, the blending, it's not as nice. It looks like, it looks like there are two, uh, I mean, it looks like this part has already dried and I just painted this new color over. And one downside for this app is there's no way for you to change the brush size other than to use the pressure sensitivity of your stylus. Right, so it seems like the more I paint over, the more I will be able to blend the color. So this is actually quite nice. One thing that I really like about this app is uh, when you're painting with their watercolor brushes, you can tap onto the wet surface. You can tell that this is a wet surface because there is this water droplet icon here. And you can tap on it while it's wet to create splotches like this. You can, maybe you need to tap a few more times. Sometimes it doesn't work, but when it works, it's very nice because you can still see 
the watercolor texture. The watercolor feature here in Sketches Pro, it's more intuitive. You can really see the color gradation, the color blends. The wet and dry feature is also quite intuitive. So now this wash here, it's wet. If I add a blue to it, it's going to mix with the wet um, wash, which is what I do not want because I want to um, basically I want to paint like this with sharp edges. So I can make this dry by tapping this icon here. And now I remove the water effect and now I can paint with blue and I can get the sharp edges. And while painting, the color will also interact slightly with the colors beneath. To create soft edges, there's this brush here that you can do to basically paint layers over layers until you get the soft edge. So the watercolor effect from Sketches Pro is actually quite believable and it is so much easier to use this app to create the water effects compared to the two earlier apps. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. The only thing that looks very digital is actually the line art. The last app I want to show you is Adobe Fresco. Let's pick a brush. There is a water droplet beside the brush to tell us that it's a watercolor brush. So let's pick this watercolor round detail. Now this app is based on a freemium model. It's free to use, but some of the brushes are locked away. If you have Adobe subscription, I cannot remember which subscription, you can actually unlock this software, this app. Oh, this is nice. Can you see that? Let me use the round brush again to draw some lines here and use this watercolor soft brush to just have the colors blend. And when I use yellow here, you can see the color actually pushes its way and blends at the area that the colors meet. And there is this ripple effect the ripple animation as the colors blend, which is very nice. Let me use the round detail. Can you see the animation happening? So it's a bit difficult for me to get those sharp edges and the tapered stroke because the wash is still considered wet. So now if I paint the black over this orange, it's going to blend together because everything here is still wet. You can dry this layer by tapping onto the layers option and tap dry layer. So now everything should be dry. Let me switch to a different color, to a blue perhaps. All right, so it does blend with the colors beneath, but now it's drier. So the blending only happens at the edges where the colors meet. So even though this is now considered dry, when I paint with black, I can still see the color blends happen. So let me just paint this black on a different layer, on a layer on top. All right, so now this is better. Let me just zoom out a bit. So this is still the water effect brush, but now this color it doesn't blend with the colors beneath because it's on a separate layer. There are actually a lot of brushes available from Adobe's brush library. Let me try this Carl's Splatter brush, super wet. Oh, okay, this is quite nice. This is the effect. Let me try the other one, the splashy. Oh, okay, this is kind of nice also. It's great for adding some texture. The watercolor brushes from Adobe Fresco are very nice. However, um, for me, 
I have to take a bit more time to really understand how the water and the paint behaves. This is not an app that I use very frequently, so I'm still very unfamiliar with um, the full features of this app. So out of these four apps, Sketches Pro for me is the most intuitive when it comes to painting digital watercolor. That's followed by Adobe Fresco. I guess you can paint watercolor effects with Procreate as well, but it will need a lot of work. As for concepts, well, the watercolor brushes, they're um, just not there yet. But I cannot fault concepts because this is a vector app. All right, let me know in the video description below what you think about watercolor versus digital watercolor. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.